Beefcake. Beefcake! I've got War Greymon and I've got Kaiser Greymon, and of course I'm going to make them do battle before we do anything, because I do plan to Drogress them today. It's so easy, right? It's just so simple, because I have an Arduino, aka an ACOM, and I'm able to disconnect them to Crest Gururumon and Metal Gururumon at, at just whenever I want to. Just at just any time. Here we go. Okay. Which Greymon will reign supreme? It's kind of funny that I even have to ask that question. I, I guess let's... Ooh. Okay, I was about to say, I'm kind of voting for the one that has a cool arrow sprite thing. It was pretty neato. God, you guys are just so different. Mostly it's just that Kaiser Greymon shoots spiky things while regular War Greymon... D well, I guess not just regular War Greymon. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Dang. That was a bit one-sided. Now, I'm sure some of the more hardcore fans will be happy with the way that turned out, but... Oh. Oh, the baby. Oh, the big baby. <laughs> you poor thing. Okay, are you guys the same type? Because I know you're the same level. Oh, you're typeless. Wait, what about you? Yeah, you're a vaccine. Oh. So I wonder what that means for, for them whenever they fight. Does that just mean that each time it'll just be some kind of random advantage or rather that there will be no advantage whatsoever and we're just coming down to which Digimon has a natural aptitude for awesomeness? Because that that just happened. Is War Greymon the Numamon of Greymons? I guess that's the thing we have to answer right here right now. Those are some good close-ups on these guys, aren't they? Ah, uh, see this time War Greymon's turning it around. Okay, watch. Ooh. Yeah, I'm starting to think that they're just kind of going, yeah, okay, see, this time I'm going to win, and the next time you're going to win, and then that way Kakujo doesn't, like, you know, get suspicious or weird. I'm a little suspicious now, you know? Like, before I wasn't suspicious, now I'm just suspicious. So, all right. I guess one-to-one -one Greymons. Really, who could say who's the better Greymon? Who could say? Yeah, no, no one. No one could no one could say that. So I'm sure you notice War Greymon's losing stats quite quickly. Um, they're at the point now where they're ready to drop an egg. They're they're ready. They're ready to drop a giant lunker. But no, 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 no. See what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a uh, a bit of data from the internet. I'm gonna take a uh, Metal Gururumon data, and I am going to combine them. See, this is uh, you can't, this is as much of, of my ACOM as I can get into the camera now that I have it adhesively stuck to the table. Well, don't go anywhere now, War Greymon. We we still have life to live. We still have things that we need to do, mostly to just be freaking amazing and buff. But here, here here's a little bit of off-screen Metal Gururumon data for you. There you go. See? Yeah, taking that beast. <laughs> I was about to say a really weird sentence. Take in that beast power! Yes! You know, for as much as I've said, dead, 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 the royal knight, dead, 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 the humanoid buff guy, I'm actually pretty excited to have Omega Mon again. <laughs> I love the way they just look like a rhino, but like with pecs. It's pretty great. So now your vaccine's super ultimate. Let me have a look at your close up, okay? Because uh, I don't think I've actually gotten an Omega Mon since they started implementing close ups. That was just in the DMX, yeah? So let's have a look. Well, I mean, I think uh, we all know what Omega Mon looks like, so yeah, that was definitely easy to like kind of scan and pick up on what that was, but that was good. Bold of them to go with a more zoomed out look than a, a really close up thing of their face. In that sense, it kind of reminds me of the weird Dorogure Mon thing where they look like a sock puppet, but it's not that bad. Okay, so next we would want to take Kaiser Greymon and connect them to Kares Garurumon, and then we're also going to get, well, not an Omega Mon, but well, if you know, you know, if you don't, you'll see. Jokeress with. Kreskurumon to become? Yes! Susanomon! Slot 40. Yeah, there they are. Susanomon. Now, I don't know a whole lot about this guy, except they're kind of like the closest thing to, like, the virus version of Agumon's final form, like the alternative thing. Not exactly that simple, of course. There are a few things that turn into Susanomon, as I recall, but mostly it is Kaiser Greymon and Kreskurumon. I just want to see their big face. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, dang, dude. Look, I'm not trying to be like a hardcore Digimon fan where it's like, if you don't know what Spumply Bumplymon inside out mode is, then I guess you don't know Digimon. But like, I, that's, I think I might prefer that to regular o o Omega Mon. <laughs> but obviously, we gotta have him fight. We got two big beefy boys. I mean, we had two big beefy boys, but now the boys have become even, dare I say, beefier? More elegant, even, I would say. Like, they've they learned, they, they pass that threshold where they think strength is all that matters, and they've learned technique, and they've learned grace. Now I want to see that put into action, right here, right now. Oh, very nice. Here we go. God, what a great display. Oh, you guys both got the whole, the whole sword thing, the whole Garubermon sword mouth thing going on, don't you? 
Ah, but Sasano Mon is shooting out lightning bolts. Oh man, I love Sasano Mon's game face. Like, they'll sit there and suddenly they're like, oh, it's very Saiyan the way they're suddenly like, ah, angry. <laughs> uh oh. Susana Amon, hang in there. We got a lot of folks that are, are pulling for you. I mean, we got a lot of folks that are pulling for Omega Mon as well, so I'm sure, I, I guess those people will be quite pleased, won't they? Ooh. Amazing. So, Susana Amon, do you still have that thing where you're not quite a vaccine? Yeah, you totally do. So we just saw a fight between a free-type Digimon and a vaccine-type Digimon. Arguably, the penultimate vaccine Digimon and the penultimate free-type Digimon. Those are some good fights. Well, now that they've Jogressed and they've gone to another form, it'll be another day or so until they get to the point where they can drop me a nice egg. I mean, not that it really matters for myself right now, because after this runs over, I'm going to return these devices to Charles Wallace. And once again, Charles, thank you so much for letting me run with these pets. Uh, it's just been a whole lot of fun with them. But yeah, I'll, I'll send these back. But not today. This isn't the final episode of this run. We're going to come back tomorrow and we're going to do a bunch of battles with people that have been sending in their codes um, for the ACOM because I've got, as you recall, a lot of Megas submitted. Like a lot of people just sent in Megas and now I have the perfect boys to take on that gauntlet, okay? Consider it area... How many areas are in this device? A thousand? Well, consider this uh, tomorrow's fights Area 1001. It's like the old DMX area battles where there's like 12 per area and I'm just going to fight everyone's Megas and then, then I'll send them back. So that'll be, that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Why don't we go see uh, how everyone's doing in the Discord? Coyotes has got their Digivice version complete in and complete in the box with their nice sheer, what is that, styrofoam? I never know what that material is. Either way, how exciting. Happy for you. They said it came in with practically one day shipping and that Amazon Japan is still king. I might have to go that route next time I order something. Cause I've got some stuff coming in the mail, but it's like the opposite of that. It's the, it's the opposite of practically one day shipping. But then again, I'm sure a lot of people in our community know what that's like. Also just shared a picture of their friends, Tamagotchi. They said their Mimichi just put on a bunch of makeup and holy cow, they're ready for Harajuku, aren't they? They're just ready to go. <laughs> they got ears piercings. Hopefully those are just uh, magnetized little clip-ons. I mean, you know, here I am going dad mode on someone else's uh, child. I, I guess I should just mind my own business, but wow. JJ Rambles says Gabumon versus Gabumon. Are they actually fighting? I don't remember if this device has the two-prong thing. If they do, that's really cool though. Sneaks gives us another level lovely picture of their mons with what I assume is some gym equipment. Let's see, press one, quick start, press two, program. I was about to say this might be a washing machine, like an art deco washing machine, but then there's wait and age. And while I'm not barring the possibility that super high scale fancy washing machines ask you the age of your clothes, I, I doubt that's what this is in this case. Um, anyway, looks like they've got Zudomon and a blurry sp Spikey boy? So yeah, that's what up with everyone. It's looking good, y'all. Looking very nice. Now, if you'll excuse me, um, it's Saturday, so I guess I'm going to try to do a Saturday. After the last episode when I was kind of like, e I don't have to work all the time, I'm trying to make a conscious effort to just take a Saturday off, so I guess I uh, kind of failed that by doing a virtual pet video, but hey, I wanted to do it, so here we are and I did it, and I can't undo it, okay? It's not like I can just go into my files and just delete the video I just recorded. That would be yeah, it's stupid. That That's a bad idea. We're not doing that. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys have a good weekend. I'll see you in the next one, though, for that Community Challenge gauntlet. Uh, if you have any Megas you want to get in at the last minute, I send them in. I might not be able to get to all of them, though. Like, there are quite a few Megas. Like, I've gotten, like, what was it, like, 44 submissions? And I'll, I think you've seen me play all the ones that aren't Megas already. So that tells you how many Megas I got in, in the submission form. Because I think we've only fought like 10 people. <laughs> That's the situation, I suppose. Oh yeah, also, before I forget, I, I'll put a poll in the description below. Uh, what would you like to see me run next? Because after this, I'm going to do a run with some of Sneak's Mons, uh, and I kind of want to know which ones you think would be best to run. A little while ago, a viewer named Sneaks generously sent in a Digimon version 8 Pendulum Cycle, a Mothra Tamagotchi, a Digimon Pendulum X, I can't remember which version this is, 3, as well as a wonderful Uratama. So let me know in the polls which one you want to see me play next. Wh whichever one wins, I'll be playing it just by itself for a couple runs before I move on to the next thing. Because while in the past I did experiment with running like a Tamagotchi and a Digimon at the same time, I, I found that all it really did was like confuse people. So let me know, and I guess we'll call it there. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel, especially our larger ones, which are Shifter Dog Trainer 89 and Kitsy Fluff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.